31 years ago, a Lampasas family woke up to realize their youngest daughter never made it home. And now, as Aaron Heft reports, more than three decades later, the Campbell family has never given up the search for their daughter. My daughter misses something happened. Those were the first thoughts Elizabeth Campbell's mom had waking up on this very morning 31 years ago. I just got a sunny chill, so I don't know why. The Campbell family quickly sprung into action, searching for their daughter. But the family says at first they were given the runaround. Clean police station, go to couple school, couple school, go to clean. Elizabeth was at her boyfriend's house studying for a college final when they got in an argument. Without a car, she decided to try to get home on her own. Well, I'm going to go walk home, or probably what she said. Along the dark 29-mile stretch to her parents' house in Lampasas, a college friend was available to give her a ride to the nearby 7-Eleven. Workers inside witnessed her there, said that she used a phone inside the store to make a phone call. That call was to her boyfriend. On the phone, they argued again. She then tried to call her family. But because the call was long distance, she was sent to the outdoor payphone. Uh, after using the payphone, that was the last time that she was seen. Tips flooded in. Every place I went to begging to help, nobody helped at all. That keeps me awake at night. Every country size, maybe she will find her dead body. I looked everywhere. But it's one particular tip the family is still haunted by. Reported seeing early in the morning a girl young woman matching Elizabeth's description. An accurate description down to the brand of shoes and jeans she was last seen wearing, as well as the type of book she should have been carrying. How did you know all of that just driving by? Investigators say the caller was driving down the highway when they accurately spotted these small details. But what the family finds even more suspicious is the identification that caller gave to police. A bogus address, bogus name, but it's a woman they called. The oddest things ever, that somebody would call in it just screams, I know something. Years later, a single substantiated piece of evidence surfaced. For her purse. We got a call from a police agency in Ozona, Texas, claiming that uh, they had gone through their property room and found a purse. And inside the purse was an ID card belonging to Elizabeth Campbell. Though no breaks have been found since the discovery of her bag in 1992. Maybe we'll get lucky. They're asking Central Texas in general, if you were that anonymous caller, or if you know anything, to please come forward. All these years, we're missing Elizabeth. Somebody out there knows somebody. Somebody know what happened to her. Somebody know. There are ways to anonymously leave tips or give information about Elizabeth or her whereabouts. To find out how, you can find this story on the KXXV mobile app.